Hey everybody and welcome to this quick video tutorial on how to create patterns here on Freepik. My name is Simona and I would like to show you how you can create your own pattern here in Adobe Illustrator. First let me show you what kind of free asset I chose. For example if you were looking for a pattern and you can't find the pattern you like but you find another free vector here in Freepik and you would like to create a pattern out of this I would like to show you how to do this. So first we would download this file here and then we're going to open up Adobe Illustrator. With the file open, I selected this one here and then I created a new file and I pasted it in. Now this is the rows that I would like to use for the pattern. First I would like to make a copy of it, move it to the side and then scale it down. After that I'm going to place it underneath and I'm going to create a copy of the big rows here but I'm going to reflect it. After that I think I would just like to have another copy of the small rows here and I place it like this. Now we have the tool here in Adobe Illustrator called the pattern tool. So all we have to do is actually select all of the shapes or objects that we would like to use for a pattern. Then we're going to object, pattern, make. Now we get a pop-up. We have the pattern options panel and Illustrator will tell us that the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel. And here we can see it. If you don't want to see this message every single time, just check don't show again. Now here's the pattern. And let me quickly show you what the things mean here in the pattern options panel. First we will give it a name. Let's call it rose. Then here we have the tile type. You can go through the other options and just have a look what they look like. And then we have the width and height. You can constrain the proportions. And then we have size tile to art and move tile with art. Now if we check size tile to art and I would select an object in my pattern and move it, you can see that the box moves with it no matter where I put it. Now if I uncheck that and I just move it back and I check it again, it sort of resets it. And as you can already see, I can select the shapes that I'm using for the pattern. And what if I don't particularly like the position of this little rose here, I can move it around and you can see how it updates the pattern. You can even select all of it and select the free transform tool and size them down. And as you can see, everything gets smaller. Now, of course, because we have size tile to art not ticked, the box is pretty big. In order to snap the box around our objects again, just select it and you can see that we have now the box much closer to our shapes. So now if I move it around again, unchecked, it will update it. And this is it. Once you're done, you can either select save a copy, click done or cancel. This button here, if you click it, you exit the pattern editing mode. So I'm done, so I'm going to click this. And now I can see my pattern here in the swatches panel with the name rose. If I want to make a change, all I have to do is double click it. I'm getting back into the pattern options editing mode and I can tweak it and update it. And once I'm done, I just click done again. And here's a way you can use pattern. For example, for your own cell phone case. This is again a free resource here from FreePick and I created a pattern for a cell phone case. And this is it. I hope this little quick tip really will help you to create your own patterns just in case you can't find any out there and you want to create your own. And this is it for now. And I hope to see you again here on FreePick.